a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rappies on our winter wears, welcome to b -Nom, the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on, we call that What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft playthrough, finally. I know I've been slacking on this guys, but don't worry, things are back in full effect. It's been really, really hot these last few days. I've been doing a lot of work in these last few days as well. We'll talk about it more as the episode goes on, but for now we're going to get the game started right now. Notice, Minecraft 1.6 is available for manual download. Please click here for more information. That looks interesting. Should I, um... You know, I'll do that in the next episode. We'll start off in the next episode, and we'll download 1.6, and then everything will be all good there. So, let's get back into our world. Play Etika Land. So now, if I remember correctly, we had just recovered from that massive fiasco where we were, like, losing our items thanks to skeletons underground. So, um, yeah. But, thankfully, things worked out. So now... WHAT THE HELL?! Wait, no, no. It's okay. You know? Stuff is right there. It's all right. But that's what I made the water thing for. Why am I dying there? Look. So, I didn't die there. But wait, wait, what? Why is this ice? Why is this ice? Wait a minute. Hold on. Can you please explain to me what the hell's going on here? Hold on a minute. What what's happening here? Why is this ice? This is so stupid. Well, nothing can be normal. Huh? I got I got to struggle with everything in this game. But all right, fine, whatever. Um, it's been a while since I played actually, so I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble remembering exactly what the goal was. Um, so let me see. Um, I think the goal was just to find diamond. Like I think that was the main goal. I mean, when we left off, I know that we were kind of sidetracked. So, um, things are a little bit more difficult to figure out, but hey, okay, so let me see, um, let me just move my sword here, I had two iron swords, okay, oh yeah, we need to make armor as well, yeah, big time armor, because, you know, that's very, very important for us to have, considering that this is Minecraft, okay, um, let's see, organize you, it's been a while since I played some Minecraft, guys, so, you know, this is like a throwback for me, but we're gonna get into this, um, okay, let me switch this here, and some of you told me in the last episode there's no way to organize your items, so that really sucks, but... Okay. Either Oh, now I remember! We were supposed to go and get animals so this way we can have food to last us once we do start digging. Alright, so, um... The goal is to get animals, I guess. I have to figure out why the hell that thing is freezing down there, but... You know, whatever. I'll, I'll work with it. Either way. Okay, so let's see. Uh, animals, animals... You know what? I wonder if I can snipe some... Oh, wait. I have no arrows. I can't snipe anything. And this bow looks like it's really, really good. So, you know what? Rather than use it, I'm going to stick it in here. And maybe one day we can use it for something else. I know for a fact that, like, with an anvil, we can actually do, like, repair work on it. So, I'm looking forward to that. Let me turn the light up a little bit. Yeah, so, I mean, um, I heard stuff about that. So, hopefully, things in that regard will go well. But for now, I don't want to waste that. Because that looks like a really good um, bow. So... What we're going to do now is go for those piggies down there. We're going to get some more of those pork chops. So we'll at least be ready. Okay, that works. That works. Okay. We'll at least be ready to um, go into that dungeon. Or rather, that cave. Some of you, somebody corrected me. They said that's what I'm exploring is not a dungeon. It's a cave. And then this way, we'll be able to um, have our food supply there. So if anything crazy happens, we'll be prepared. All right, so. Didn't I have more iron in the stove? I think I had more iron in the stove, but... Oh, well, I'm not going to check it out now. All right, pigs. Okay. On guard. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they look so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, man. M maybe... Maybe we should start a farm. 
Like, maybe we should start a farm. Is this what works? No, no, no. We have to get wheat to get pigs to meat. Should we start? I'm thinking we should start a farm at this point because things are now at the point where, like, re what, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, there was a lava pit there. <laughs> hey, I wonder. Hey, you know what it feels like to be pork chops? What are you going to learn today, boy? Get in there. 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 Come on. It's just soup. That's it. It's soup. How does a pig die from being punched too much? Come on. Uh... But I don't want to waste my resources because I only I don't really know how many pigs are around. It looks like there's a lot, but if I kill all of them, that's it. There's no more pigs. So I gotta I gotta conserve, man. I can't just go around killing them all willy nilly. Alright then. You know what? This plan is going a little bit deeper. We're gonna have to make a farm. Cause somebody made a really good point. Etika, you kill all those pigs now, you ain't gonna have nothing for later. And that's a really good point there, you know? So I'm not going to play all recklessly with my resources here we got to actually plan ahead that actually happened when i was playing minecraft pocket edition my friend and i we were um we were playing pocket edition and you know pocket edition is a small world as it is and um when we were playing we basically killed every single chicken that was around us at that point and something crazy happened no more chickens ever popped up so there's no more food in that world so there's no more way to get hp so it's like whoa i don't know if animals randomly respawn back in this world in minecraft but I don't want to risk it, because if they don't, then that's all my resources in this immediate area are gone. I'd rather have a farm where I could kill some, then have them mate, and then kill some more later, than to, you know, totally just kill everything and not have anything left later on. It'll be a better move long term, I think. Although when we're trying to beat the game, something tells me we're not going to be in one area for that long, so this might be futile, but hey, it makes me feel better at night knowing that, you know, all my resources won't just be gone like that. And it's about to be nighttime, so we aren't going to be out here for too much longer. In fact, I think I had some iron in the stove, so we're going to actually um, leave here once I finish cleaning this area out for the farm. And we're going to go and see what is good with the iron that we had in that stove. I'm feeling really uncomfortable with that pit of lava there, you know? I mean, there's a lot of things that are making me feel uncomfortable right now. The fact that it's nighttime and the fact that that lava pit is there. But I can finish this project at least before nighttime hits. I just got to make sure I'm in up that mountain before anything crazy. Okay, and we are done clearing out the land. You guys remember Pokemon Red and Blue or Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, or whatever, when um, the dude had his Machop stomping the land out in um, Vermilion City for that project that was never done? Very weird. I wonder what the hell is going to be built there. Oh, there's a light down there. Okay, let's see. What the hell is that? I think that's my place. Yeah, that's my place. All right, cool. So everything is all good, man. You know, no, wait, what the fuck? Why did you die? Squid, man. They don't hurt you, but they very they, they they really disturb me. I don't know what the story is with these guys. Look at this guy. What the hell's what the hell's this dude's deal? He looks so creepy, man. They got that mouth. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Now let's climb up. So yeah, once we're able to like get all these piggies harvested after making the farm, then we'll, I'll be able to safely say that I have a refreshable, you know, source of food, and this way, everything will be okay. I won't feel bad for killing these monsters. Let's put some more torches here, because I'm feeling really uncomfortable right here. I can imagine a monster, like, just fucking spawning and then saying, oh, what's up? Etika World Network? What's up, baby? Okay. So now, we're going to run back down there, and we're going to uh, finish Adi Avam. Okay. Hopefully I don't die. I'm good! Yes, we got a method. Okay. It was this way, I think. No, it was this way. No, it was this way. No, no, it was this way. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, we're good. Oh, we got some iron right there! Thank you. Oh, don't mind at all. What do I have all these snowballs for? Okay. And I just picked them all up again without even thinking twice about it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we're out of here. 
Yeah, so this farm is definitely going to be practical. But yeah, what have you guys been up to in the last few days? What have the subscribers of Etika been preoccupying themselves with? Me, myself, I've been, uh, I've been working on a few things, actually. Um, I was filming like a video for the Pokemon Pit, but as some of you may not know, the Pokemon Pit is now dead for good. Like, it's gone. Totally gone. There's nothing left. It's uh, really sad, but um, at the end of the day here, I can't lie, man. The Pokemon Pit is like battered and bruised, you know? Like, it's been through so much bullshit that like, I can't, I, I can't say I'm surprised, you know? The management, sure, Zenon is a great manager, but it doesn't change the fact that the Pokemon Pit has some corrupt ideals behind it, you know? Especially with the whole King Daddy GMAC thing. I mean, I'm not trying to point fingers or call out people, but GMAC sounds like one hell of an asshole, you know? So, I mean, whatever the case may be, I'm, I can't say for sure, but, well, I can say for sure one thing, the, the Pokemon Pit is gone. Even if it did come back now, it would only be a matter of time before it's taken out again. I mean, from what I understand, King Daddy Dmac he um, got rid of the login for Zenon and Vec to get in to upload battles. And um, pretty much just made everything owned by him and even got rid of the partnership with the channel. So it's like, what the hell are you doing, Dmac? you know? Damn. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Either way, whatever. Let it burn. Let it burn. Pokemon Pit's era is over. Totally over. I was up there and I didn't even check my iron. Oh, come on. All right. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure this surface is, like, totally flat. Ready for the pigs and shit. Literally, the pigs and shit, because pig shit. Okay. Now we got to bring these pigs to this place. So, um, okay. We're going to need cobblestone. So, you know what? We got to go back upstairs and get that shit. So, this way, we can, um, oh, God. Okay. But we need the cobblestone. Whoa! What's there? Thank you. Oopsie. <laughs> but okay, we need to go and get this cobblestone so we can actually build like a sort of a wall around this thing. Make sure these piggies don't get out. You know, they're gonna be delicious bacon later on. We can't have that. Okay. Why is this squid? Is this dude trying to get in my house? Like, dude, you're not wanted, you know? Who would want your ugly ass anyways? I can see why Sky Does Minecraft hates you. Sky Does Minecraft is one of my favorite YouTubers, by the way, just so you know. Like, when he lost his mind, it's, it's, it's hilarious. But, hmm. I wish there was a boost to be able to climb this ladder faster. It's like a boring-ass task. There should be elevators in the next Minecraft, guys. Make it happen. And boom. Okay, so let's check the stove. I thought I had some iron. What happened to my iron? I thought I had iron in the stove. Whatever, I guess I don't. Oh, well. Okay, so let me just take this cobblestone. So I can build a perimeter around the farm. And for now, we're going to end it here. But thank you once again, guys, for tuning in. As usual, I really do appreciate the support. And um, if you have any suggestions for what I should do after this episode, let me know. But hey, I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hey there, guys. What's going on? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Minecraft. Let's get into the episode right now. Now... If you guys last remember, we were basically going to finish off that farm by building a bunch of cobblestone around the wall so this way, you know, we have everything settled. That, I love that entryway, man. That works out so well for me. But okay, the farm is this way. No, it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. I think it's this way. I hope it's this way. I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out which direction it is once I get off that ladder. Or rather, get, that, get off that drop. I do think it's this way, though. So, let's see. Um, yeah, so how are you guys doing? I'm quite peachy myself, quite peachy. Can't wait to get this thing done so we can finally start exploring that dungeon again because that was really fun. You know, besides all the killing and, you know, the, the, the skeletons, it was good. I liked it a lot. Okay, then, let's see. So we're going to um, add this. Um, let me see. What kind of... Oh, I know what kind of um, build I'm going to do. Okay, so... Boom. Okay. Now, I know you're wondering what the hell. Well, you'll see. You'll see. Um, okay, it's not going to be all that big for now. We don't really need to make it all that big. We'll just uh, extend it like this. And, um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, man, it's getting dark now. Goodness gracious. I hope you guys can see me well throughout this because the light... Like, I'm relying on the light from outside to do a lot of the lighting in here because I don't have two lights. But 
because the light from outside is always shifting, it can sometimes get light and then it'll sometimes get dark. So I hope you guys can do. But all right, so now we're going to put this perimeter here. Yeah, that works out really well. Okay, boom. Next, we're gonna put it up here. There we go, that works. All right, this is coming together a lot better than I thought it would be. All right, and then finally here. And we're already out of cobblestone. Damn, man, this cobblestone does not last, man. Damn, it's getting dark. Why did that sound play as soon as I said it's getting dark? This game really does not like me, but okay. So, I don't know, man. It's getting really dark. I think this light needs to be brighter. You know, I'm going to have to change this light. It's getting really, really dark in here, so let me... Oh, man. Okay. Let me bring this light closer here. I need a stronger light eventually, but all right. So, this should be a lot better. Ah, okay. Let me see. Is that better? Yeah, that's a lot better. You like that shit, don't you? You dirty bitch. <laughs> I joke. I joke. I kid. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, that should be perfect. All right. It'll probably be a little overexposed, but whatever. Okay. And now we need to, um... Add this part in. Because I'm too cheap to afford glass, but I want to see what's always going on on the outside of the farm, so... Adding this thing is a nifty little way to do so. Ow! What the? F oh God! Okay, all right. That that's a little bit unsafe, but you know what? Whatever. Who cares about safety? It's micro. Okay. Let's get to the other side. Finish putting this shit up, so this way everything will be ready. This is a pretty big space, you know. I think this will work out really well. And pigs are small, so you know they they'll be able to multiply in here a lot. This is a lot of space for pigs, you know? Okay. Hope I'm not catching a cold because I got the AC on because it's way too hot to do this without an AC. So, you know, I'm not going to kill myself trying to do a Minecraft episode with these big ass lights in here. And, you know, I'm <laughs> there's no way. Especially after, like, you know, well, right now the degrees and temperature here are about, uh... 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, which I don't know what, how much of that is in Celsius, but I know it's a lot. Okay, so we've got this done. You know, I'm going to add one more layer up to the top just to make sure that nothing crazy happens because I can see a monster coming up off that hill and just snapping everyone's shit up in the farm. And, you know, it'll be crazy if a monster happens to get in in this farm because if they do, it's not like the pigs can run away, you know, so that's not going to be good. So let's us build just one more layer of wall up here. Um, why don't we do it like this? Yeah, instead of just putting a, another random top layer, we're just going to put it like this. Let's make sure we don't fall. But something tells me if we fall from this height here, we're definitely snapping some shit up. I hope we have enough cobblestone to finish this. Here's the inconvenience about like having a house at the top of a fucking mountain. Like You gotta, you gotta run up there for everything, you know? So it's like, ugh. I'm, trying to, I'm starting to, like, dread that now. But whatever. It's cool looking. It's cool looking. The only reason why I'm down here moving resources like that is because I'm building a farm. So I understand that totally. In fact, it would be cool if I had, like, a little elevator thing that took me all the way to the top of my mountain. But, oh, well. That would be kind of cool, though. Like a, like an instant transmission way where I can get in the, I can leave the farm, go into a tunnel, and then it'll travel all the way up to the top of the mountain. That would be awesome. Oh, man. This is really cold in here. Oh, I hope I'm not getting sick, but it's, like sneezing is just a natural body reaction to cold temperatures, so I think I'm okay. I learned a lot about colds ever since um, I had my cold um, a few days ago, so it's really informative, you know? Like it shows, like I've learned stuff that tells you, you know, technically cold weather itself doesn't make you catch colds. It doesn't. Very informative stuff. It's the rhinovirus that does. Booyah! Everything's good! Oh, man. Oh, blah. That's why I hate the AC. But, okay. So, everything's pretty much good at this point. Yep, the farm is good. Although, I feel a little insecure in here, but... 
Whatever. But if a skeleton comes in here, he sees me, he's shooting my ass. That's not a good thing, but whatever. I'll deal with it as the time comes. Either way, we are good now. I'm going to leave this bitch. Okay. Jesus. All right, so everything's good. At this point now, we can start heading back up. And um, this way we'll... Oh, wait. Oh. Fuck you. I'm not scared of you. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, you see? Zombies are easy, you know? It's just that when they come in, like, the most unexpected times, that's when it becomes difficult to fight them. Especially if there's, like, a trillion of them or something. Okay. By the way, guys, can we settle this rumor now? Can monsters climb ladders or not? Because... I'm bothered by the aspect, of, by the prospect of seeing like skeletons climb up ladders. Can monsters climb ladders or not? This way, I know at least. Thank you. And we are good. Let us take a little bit of a nap. Sorry, I'm sniffling in the mic. It's very cold in here. I gotta change it. I'm gonna put on the fan instead of the AC. Okay then. So let's see. So now um, we're going to need to make some uh, doors so we're gonna need more wood okay so let me just put this iron here okay I'm gonna put this bone here arrows we don't really need right now snowballs don't really need if I shot the sheriff but I did not shoot the deputy. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this is good. Ladders. Why not? We need them. Um, let me see. Flint, we don't really need you. I'll take all my coal. You never know. What? Oh, it split it. Whoa. Okay. Well, how does that happen? Oh, I wish I could do that again. But okay. And... Um, Pretty much, we are good. Let's take one more stack of cobblestone, just in case. Okay, let's take this iron. All right. So now we can continue our little project. And by the way, um, I remember some of you guys telling me, hey, why don't you unfreeze this so this way you can uh, make it... Oh, God, please don't fall. Make it water again. I don't know how to do it. Maybe if I put a torch by it or something? How do I, how do I unfreeze it? I don't know how to do it, man, to be honest. But, oh well. Okay, so now we are going to get to our little house right there. Well, our little, um, our little farm. But we're going to need to get wood. So let me get that axe that we had. Or rather, let me just make a new one. Okay, that works. Why not? Okay. One, two. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, there we go. Okay. All this just to get pork chops, man. It's like Minecraft. You start the journey for one thing. And the next thing you know, you're doing something for something else totally that deviates from the original goal. The original goal here is to just mine. But um, we're, 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 get, we're collecting wood and we're, we're, you know, we're killing pigs. Oh, my God. That did damage. All right. Just be careful. Yo, if I fall again, I, th I think that's a wrap, yo. If I fall again, because look at my health, man. I'm, I'm seriously taking damage from these. Okay. Maybe I should have just taken the regular way to get down instead of trying to jump down like a fucking madman. Because something tells me this ain't going to end good. Oh, there's water down there. Okay, maybe I can do that. Fuck! Fuck! Alright, whatever. I'll just go down there and get it. You see, now this is the part that sucks about living in a place like this. Like, whatever, whatever. Okay. And I was right there! Come on! Never again am I going to try to jump off the side of the mountain. It's just so unnecessary. I didn't need to do that. So whatever. I learned my lesson. Boom. Never again. Never, ever again. Fuck. Alright. I hope I have everything because I had a lot of stuff on me. Well, not a lot of stuff, but, you know, the important stuff I had on me. I had three of these. Yeah, this is correct. I had two swords. Yes, yes, I did. I had my axe. Yes, yeah. Okay, everything's all right. 
I had another shovel, though. Come on, where's my shovel at? I gotta look around for that. I had another one. Come on, where's it at? What's up with these creepy sounds, man? Okay. I could have sworn I had another shovel. Come on. Where is it? I had another one. I swear I had another one. Oh, my coal right there. All right. Come here, Cole. J. Cole. Yeah. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. I had another shovel. I know I did, but whatever. It's just a shovel at the end of the day. It's nothing too important, so whatever. So now, finally, we can start... Oh, there we go. Okay, excellent. Great. Okay. So now we can actually start to get wood like we were supposed to from like two fucking minutes ago. All right. So, come here, wood. We need you for an important project. Okay, um, let's see if we can get some more. I don't even know how this is even physically possible, but then again, it's Minecraft. Physics. Physics are not this game's friend, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind living in the Minecraft world. Like, everything is just going to be ancient. Like, or rather, not ancient, but just like old technology. Like, no computers in this bitch. Okay. Although I read somewhere that like some dude who plays Minecraft is building like a 16-bit computer in the game. That is crazy. How do you build a computer in Minecraft? Like using redstone and shit. He had a whole redstone setup. He was building like a 16-bit computer in Minecraft. That is insane. How do you even begin that concept? Like that is just wild to me. Is this a tree in the ground? I think this is dead ass tree in the ground. I think this is a tree in the ground. I think this is a tree in the ground. Where's the where's the root? Oh wow, it is a tree in the ground. All right. Well, let me pick it out. All right, now I can officially say I have dug out a tree that was in the ground. Yay! Etika World Network accomplishing goals daily in Minecraft. But it took me ten episodes to find a place to live. I think it was more than ten. I think it was a lot more than ten. Yeah, I'm not exactly the best when it comes to this stuff. But I do what I can. I do my best. I got no regrets. All right, I think that's plenty of wood. Guys, but we are going to end this episode on that note. Thank you once again for tuning in. I'll talk to you all later on. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Leave any suggestions you have in the comments below, and we will see what we can do with it.